What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sam Johnson. I am a gay black man, and I decided to walk away from the Democratic Party. So, you know, this started, like, you know, some years ago. I mean, 2008, I wasn't old enough yet, but I was really excited that Obama won because I was raised to be Democrat. I was raised to be a liberal. So I really thought, well, yes, we can. You know, the black man's going to change America and the whole, all that jazz. I fell for all that. Then, you know, I was a student at Liberty University for a little while, and I was an Obama supporter, and I got backlash for that, which means, like, oh, maybe the Republicans are racist. Maybe they don't like me because, you know, I support Obama. Maybe the Republicans are racist. So I really thought the Democrats were the racist party. And so, you know, I transferred out of that school for whatever reason. I went to a secular university, public university, graduated from there, was still a liberal, was still a Democrat. Even in 2016, when I voted for Hillary Clinton, you know, I thought to myself the whole time, like, why did Trump run? He's never been in politics. Like, I don't think he can win. I was shocked that he won, obviously. And, of course, I was told to be upset because I think they said, oh, Trump's going to destroy the country. He's going to put us back all ships to Africa. I still live in America, by the way. So, then he got inaugurated in the whole Women's March, and I was participating in that. And then I recall probably, when I started to walk away, it was probably after 2017, when the whole Charlottesville thing broke out. Now, in Boston, we had a counter protest that was like 40,000 people. I was among those 40,000 40, people. So, a few months later, when I spoke to people, the 40 people who were on the stage at that bandstand, it turns out that they were not white supremacists, and they don't do white supremacy. It was just the Boston free speech people. It was the media that lied and got all those people to go out there and you know, protest these people who were just doing the First Amendment protection rally in Boston Common. So if you get into the bigger picture of how the media lies to you about the feminism, the Planned Parenthood, the LGBT community, I'm like, okay, so they just want us to take their word for it, when the truth of the matter is, we can criticize and scrutinize anything we want to. Part of life is going through, you know, asking questions, trying to gain information. There's two sides to this debate. There's two sides to the political spectrum. I can't just be leftist or Democrat or liberal just because I'm black and I'm gay. And if you think that I have to be on that side of the spectrum because of my sexuality, because of my skin color, then you actually are discriminated against me. So I have found some homophobia and racism in the Democratic Party. And so it is my choice to reject the lies from the fake news media trying to paint Trump as a white supremacist when clearly he's not. He's not a racist. He don't hate gay people. He don't hate black people. He's not xenophobic. Listen, Trump ain't that bad. I may not be a Trump supporter. I may not be a Republican. But the thing is, I'm sick of the Democrat lies. I'm walking away from the party. I have no political identity. I'm an independent. And I can vote for whoever I want to. As a free thinker, I'm going to do this.